This is going to be a very short video taken from one of the coaching calls in my saxophone artistry mentorship program and I thought it would be a great thing to share it with you because we talked about sound and how to create your perfect sound. In the first part, we talk about the shape of your sound. In the second part, we talk about how to spoon feed your brain with music to be absorbed. And then in the third part, we talk about how your influences play a huge role in developing your sound. Nice shaped sound doesn't mean anything. It's something that you think about. Um, it's like if you maybe picture a circle, you know, if you have a circle, you want the circle to have the borders really nice and, and clear, you know, and sharp. You don't want the circle to be all fuzzy and, and blurry, you know, it has to be nice and perfect as in as in shape, you know. But again, it's it's very subjective how you think about sound and how you mold the sound because it this is the only place where where it happens, you know, mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. the way to make it to make it happen is by you listening to people. That's why everyone says you have to listen, you have to listen because that's the only way to feed your brain, you know, spoon feed the brain with information. Mm -hmm. If you go like, hey, look, let's listen to, I don't know, whoever, Paul Desmond, just because we all like Paul Desmond. Cannonball or, laterally. Or, can, or Cannonball. Let's listen to this guy for a month straight. That's the only thing I'm gonna listen to. And what you're doing is you're letting the brain absorb all the qualities of of this player, you know, even passively, even if you're doing dishes or something else, you know, the brain is absorbing, 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 right? And then when you get to play, your brain will be able to go like, remember that track? Oh, yeah, you know, you're gonna have a, a more information to play around mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. People who say, but I just want to sound like me, I don't want to copy anyone because I'm me. I'm like, good luck. <laughs> There's many. That's what I said. Oh, that's what you say. And then are you uh, making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, every everyone, everyone. I mean, not everyone, but it's it's very common. But it's you are a combination. You are the result of all your influences of who you listen to, of who you have listened to, and then all these influences will kind of merge into one and will will be mixed with who you are and your body type and your size and your bones and, and your personality and your brain and everything. So you will be, that's how you create your own sound. Mm -hmm. And I'm a mix of saxophone players, oboe players, cello players, <laughs> trumpet players a little bit, not too much. You know, I'm not a, I'm not 100% saxophone only when it comes to sound. I was influenced by so many different instruments and that's coming to one thing and then, you know, it's still developing into whatever that is. Mm. So that's why, you know, because you're creating stuff here, even if we don't, you know, if we don't, if we don't see it, but that's, mm -hmm. that's how it works. Mm -hmm. It's very mystical, but it's the truth. <laughs> I've, I've been listening to this album a lot lately. Um, Cannonball Adderley. And if you have been troubled with your sound because you haven't been able to figure out what to do and how to fix your embouchure and it's giving you lots of troubles, I'm reopening the Effortless Embouchure 2.0 online course pretty soon this week. So if you're interested in knowing more about that, the only thing you have to do is just click the link here below, join the waiting list and you'll be notified by email on when the reopening will happen. Okay, so I will see you soon and any questions put them here below in the comments. And also who is your favorite player and which one has the best sound in your opinion? Let me know here below. Bye.